pumpkin, I don't know if it's a flower pot or a figurine. No, it's just a figurine. Uh, about it being moved, you don't know if that happened on November 6th or sometime at least up to two weeks before. Is that fair? Correct. <clears throat> However, I do know that she wouldn't have not fixed them because, again, she lived alone and uh, it's just if something's out of place, she would have put it back. She was a pretty neat and tidy yes. person. And she loved her house. Did you notice any damage to the door jam where these fibers were located? I don't believe I did. When you went into your mom's house, did it did it appear clean? Yes. Did it smell clean? Yes, it smells new. Did it smell like it had been recently cleaned? You know that smell you get when you walk into your house after you just cleaned? Right, I would say it didn't smell like any cleaning fumes. It, it just smelled like you could smell the new carpet, new wood. You didn't smell any kind of cleaning agents or deodorants? No. <clears throat> you said that your mom's truck was parked outside on the, as you're looking at the photograph, it would be the right hand side? Yes. And that's where she would normally have parked? That's where she normally parks the truck, but she doesn't drive that very often. What does she normally drive? She normally drives a Jeep, a blue Jeep, but she usually parks it um, inside the house. Uh, there's a garage door going into the basement. That's where she always parks the Jeep. Okay, and, and that, I think you had said that earlier, that you went downstairs and yes. the, the, her vehicle was, is the Jeep. Yes. It was in the basement. Yes. Uh, and that garage is, I, I didn't see it on the photographs, but if you went around the back of the house, is, is it on the side or is it on the back? It's on the west end of the house, so it's on the side of the house. And does it go down uh, the, slope? The, the driveway does slope down and kind of curves around. And that's where her vehicle was? Yes, the Jeep was. Did you did you touch the hood of the Jeep to determine whether or not it had been driven recently? I don't believe I did. I think I tried to open it, and that's how I knew it was locked. Did you? Do any investigation with the vehicle outside, the truck, to see if it had been driven or something. Mm, again, I didn't touch the hood, I just looked in it. Did you notice any tire tracks on the grassy portion of the uh, of the front lawn between the gravel driveway and, and the porch? No. Did you notice any kind of tire tracks that stuck out in your mind at all on no. the drive? No. <clears throat> Did you, uh, Ms. Bowler, become aware of uh, an individual who claimed they saw your mother driving a vehicle on November 7th? Yes. Okay. And do you recall that person's name? Um, Mindy Myers. And this would have been the day that we you were at the house looking for your mom? Correct. <laughs> I believe I don't believe she said she was driving, unless I heard you incorrectly. I think she said she was just in a vehicle with someone else. Okay. Um, so whether she was driving or not, you remember there being uh, talk that this person had actually seen your mom after the time that she supposedly disappeared. She thought she did. And she thought so so strongly she even waited for her, did she not? I I don't recall that. Do you recall what kind of vehicle she saw her in? No. I know that I was told, but I don't remember. Okay. You testified about a pop can and a cell phone that were still there at the house. Which room were they in? In the office.
was your pop can cold or warm or do you know? It was hard. I was trying to tell whether it would possibly she had opened that opened it that morning. It didn't have any um, uh, you know condensation on the top of it above. It was actually in a koozie, and it was cool but not like she had just taken it out of the refrigerator. And it was about three fourths of the way full, I would say. Cooler than room temperature. Slightly. Since the November uh, seventh time you've been at the house, uh, have you been back in the house? Yes, many, many times. Uh, did you uh, become aware that someone had actually found a knife in the basement? <coughs> yes. Or did you find that knife? No. I believe one of my brothers did. Do you recall when that was? <coughs> I do not. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to say that it was in, it was... All I can say it was this year. It wasn't in the first couple of months, probably after this happened. I don't remember exactly. Did you know whether or not there was blood on that knife? I think there was something that looked like blood, whether it actually was or not. I'm sure. You didn't see it. Is that fair to say? You didn't see the knife? I don't remember whether I saw the knife or not, actually. <clears throat> yeah, actually, yes, I did. You did see the knife and it had something on it that looked like blood. Yes. And that knife was turned over to law enforcement? Yes. <coughs> and I, I think I asked you this before, and uh, if I did, I apologize. You had heard your dad had made statements about uh, having people who could get rid of you or his family. What he said, you know, to my mom directly is that he would just kill us. I don't know about having someone else do it. Okay. Have, did you become aware that, that he'd ever made those kind of statements? Have you now become? After, after she was taken, yes. That he, he knew of people, hitmen, who could get rid of her and get rid of the body? Yes. Do you know Roger Hollister? I do now. Prior to November 7th, did you know Roger House? I don't believe I had ever heard his name. I knew who his wife was. Okay. Your mom ever mentioned to you the name Roger House? No. Your dad ever get mad and yell and say he can have Roger take care of his problem or anything like that? No. I don't believe he would probably make a statement like that to me directly. Okay. You never heard the name of Roger Hollister prior to this case involving your mother's disappearance and death. Correct. If your mother was having any kind of a relationship with Mr. Hollister or Mrs. Hollister or someone connected with Hollister, would that be something she would likely tell you? Yes. And she did not. I don't have anything further, man. Thank you. Redirect. 